A new bombshell German study linked mRNA COVID vaccines to five cardiac deaths, which occurred within around seven days after people received their shots. Then, via autopsy, revealed the pathology that led to those deaths. Now, if you want a quick summary of this video and why this study is so important, here it is. German researchers and pathologists reviewed data on 35 COVID vaccine-associated deaths. It turns out, histological examination of the cardiac and injection site tissues from those five deceased individuals found severe T-cell inflammation from CD4, CD3+, and CD68 infiltrates from macrophages, which resulted in such an inflammatory cascade that substantial portions of the right ventricle, a portion of the heart, died in every single subject. All that ultimately led to lethal rhythms which likely ended the lives of the five who took the COVID vaccines after around seven days. This is important because autopsies in medicine are one of the most accurate ways to establish causal circumstances like this. Anyways, the details matter, so stick around. But before we begin, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell in the bottom right hand corner so you can be notified when my new videos come out. Also, click my social links in the description below if you want more content like this. I post extra exclusive content on Substack and Patreon if you're interested. Oh, and also I have new YouTube memberships now and they give you access to more content. So just click the join button above. Also, you can send me a super thanks if you want. Anyways, let's get into this. So now I'm going to open my Substack post on this to help explain the study a little bit better. So one second. So I'm going to highlight all nine of these points. Now looking here, we already talked about point number one, but to recap, highly inflammatory cells were found in cardiac autopsy tissues like CD4+, CD3+, and CD68 cells. Basically when the body feels there's an issue, it sends these kinds of cells to the area of what it suspects to be damaged, but in doing so creates such or can create such a cascade of inflammation, neighboring tissues end up damaged or dead. And in this case, it was cardiac tissue. So this process allegedly happened over and over and over again, and it's suspected the process resulted in the death of a large area of the right ventricle of the heart walls in these people. The pathology revealed itself by what is known as foci formation. In this case, meaning cluster of dead cardiac tissue that disrupted cardiac rhythms. Next, number two, it is said inflammation isn't what caused these deaths. Rather, resulting cardiac arrhythmias caused by the inflammation and resulting foci formation caused the deaths. Now, let's look at point number three. The same CD4+, CD3+, and CD68 infiltrates seen in the heart were also seen at the vaccine injection sites of each subject. Think about that for a moment. Essentially, point number three is just a repeat of the previous two points. Okay, now points number four, five, and six. I'm going to pull up a chart so you can understand what I'm about to explain to you a little bit better. So one second. Now, if you look here on the left, three deaths were female, two were male. Here, you see nearly all died within seven days after vaccination, and the median age was 58, very, very young. So let me switch back now to my Substack post, and I'm going to re-highlight point seven, eight, and nine. Now, point seven, eight, and nine, they may be the most important to add context here because if you look, none of those who died had a recorded SARS-CoV-2 infection before vaccination. None of those who died had any meaningful cardiac disease and most deaths occurred after dose one. Digest that for a moment. Now, as you digest that, I'm going to pull up another image for you to look at. So take a look at this image. All four slides here show CD68, CD3, and CD4 infiltration that we spoke about earlier. These darkened areas right here, these areas of CD68, CD3, and CD4 cells. The blue dots indicate cardiac myocytes or cardiac cells. Now, keep in mind, those darkened areas of immune cells and tissues we just looked at are bad news. They indicate inflammation, cardiac tissue death, and likely what resulted in the lethal arrhythmias these people experienced prior to death. Now, let's compare these slides to the slides of tissue seen from the injection site that they biopsied or they took a sample of. So hold on one sec, I'm gonna pull that up. So as you can see the same congregation of immune cells are seen here on each slide. They're the darkened areas. 
So what does all this mean? Well, tissues from autopsies do tell a story, right? Pathologists use them to establish causal roots of death. If this kind of trend continues to pop up in the medical literature, I have a feeling the vaccines may be implicated in many more deaths, but we'll see what happens. I mean, considering the past three years, I don't think anyone is too sure of what the future will bring. But anyway, those are the facts. We still need more data on this, but if there's anything that you would like to learn about in the future, leave it in the comment section below and I'll see you on the next one.